Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us tonight. We're live from the Isoplex here in Simi Valley for an exciting matchup between the Seaside Matadors and the Colorado Buffaloes. The Matadors are coming off a 5-1 loss last week against UCLA and looking to bounce back. Game should be starting in about 90 seconds. As both teams are just finishing up their warm-ups before we get underway. If you notice, the referees are wearing pink stripes tonight in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, showing their support. Both teams are in the huddle. Getting ready for this exciting matchup. Trying to get both of their teams hyped up as we're about to get underway. The starters for the Matadors tonight include number 17, Gino Norak, number 20, Luke Gontus, number 22, Jake Dusterhoff, number 23, Kenneth Hernandez, and number 25, Nick Schwartz. Goalie tonight for the Matadors is number 31, Ethan Murphy. The Matadors are in the white, the Buffaloes are in the black. Captain Gino Norak gonna be the one taking place in the faceoff. Referees at center ice. Drops the puck and we are underway. It'll be interesting to see how CSUN bounces back after the devastating 5-1 loss last week. They were competitive in most of that game. It was tied 1-1 one -one throughout, but it got away from them in the third period.
Colorado in control early. And Northridge starts to head the other way with it. Colorado takes it away. Shot towards the goalie, saved. Some quick substitutions were made for CSUN. Is Kyle Warwick now in the game? Colorado shot goes high. Matador is trying to play some defense. As the Buffaloes are looking to put up a score early. Puck is taken away by Martinez. Little miscue on the pass there for the Buffaloes. As the Matadors just shoot it down the other end. More quick substitutions are made for the Matadors. Colorado looking to control early. Shot goes high above the goal. They get it back momentarily, but it's taken away by Norak. Towards the center of the ice, shoots, and it's saved. He was surrounded by defenders on that shot. Couldn't really get a good look at it. As now the Buffalo is able to take it away defensively. Pass is intercepted by Tatsanya. He's pushing, but he's surrounded by three defenders. And now Colorado's heading the other way. CSUN pushes the ice too far down. That's going to be an icing call, and we'll have a face-off at the other end. CSUN controls after the face-off. Only for a moment, though. They get the puck back momentarily. It's back and forth. The puck rolls down the side of the rink. Buffaloes with the stop defensively. Now heading the other way. Little physicality going on there with Christopher Franklin, number 28. Anderson looking to push down the ice with a quick pass. Shot towards the goal is saved. No damage done here in the first five minutes and 16 seconds of the game.
Anderson in for the faceoff. Northridge shot goes high. And into the protective netting. So it's going to be another faceoff. Same two players for the faceoff. We do it again. This time, Colorado able to control. Colorado, Colorado looking to move quick. They can't do anything with it. Player for Colorado just lost a stick. Matter of fact, it looks like it got cut in half. As now the Matadors are pushing. Dusterhoff tried to make a move. Norak tried to squeeze one in. Both teams fighting for it. Schwartz comes out with it. Back to Dusterhoff. Grantus with the pass back. Shot on goal is saved, and we're going to have a faceoff. Both teams making substitutions. Norak and Barnhart in for the faceoff. Cease unable to control for the moment as Norak just swings it down the other end. No icing call there as the puck deflected off a stick. As now Hernandez looking to push. He's got five defenders around him. Gives the puck to Day. That's going to be an icing call. Looked like CSUN was trying to make some substitutions. That was the reason for them shooting the puck down the other end. Twelve twenty nine left here in this first period. We are still tied zero to zero. Colorado able to control after the face off. Shot goes left of the net. Hernandez playing some defense. As now Hayden Day's pushing. He's got some teammates behind him. Hernandez shoots the puck back. Martinez trying to play keep away for the moment. As now CSUN is on the run. Colorado plays some defense, but Martinez able to control momentarily. It's been back and forth this whole first period.
CSUN trying to poke their stick in there. As the puck glides into the goalie, it's going to be saved. And we're going to have a face off on the far end. Colorado control, shot goes wide right. Dusterhoff banging into people, playing aggressive as he always does. As now Norak is making his way down the ice. Tries to center the puck, controls again. Puck bounces off in Norak. Both teams fighting for it. As Gontus is fighting for it. Shot on goal, saved. Deflected off the goalie. Whistle blows, we have a player down. Dusterhoff was down on the ice. It's going to be a power play for the Matadors. The officials are looking to get this sorted out right now. As two Buffaloes are in the penalty box right now, it appears it's going to be a five on three. Anderson held up three fingers, skating away from the penalty box indicating that it will be five on three. This is a golden opportunity right here for the Matadors to get an early one nothing lead. It's gonna be a two minute power play for both players in the penalty box. 9.42 left here in this first period. Norak in for the faceoff. And let's see what the Matadors can do. Golden opportunity. There's Warwick. Shot. Saved for the moment. Cezanne looking to pick the bones of what is left of the Buffaloes. Warwick shoots and scores! The Matadors take advantage of the power play. It didn't even take them 30 seconds. As the shot was saved initially, deflected right to Warwick, and he got it in. One nothing Matadors. So the Matadors are still in a power play as only one player came out of the penalty box. There's a minute 10 left of what is now a five on four. 
Anderson with the pass to Warwick. Pass to Norak, shot. The puck's still live. Both teams fighting for it, it's right there. Puck haven't, hasn't been covered up yet. Puck finds his way to Warwick. Norak going after it. Looking to reset offensively. Here's Dusterhoff to the center to Norak, and he gets it in! And just like that, it is two nothing Matadors. They take advantage of a depleted Colorado team. And just like that, it's two to nothing. 8.15 left here in this first period. The officials are talking with the coach of Colorado. I don't know what that's about. Now the officials are in a huddle. Captain Nora coming out to listen. All right, it seems like everything is settled. And we're back underway. <whistles> Quick icing call out of the face off. We're gonna head towards the other end. CSUN riding a wave of momentum right now. Colorado controls after the face-off. And now CSUN looking to push yet again. This time with both teams at full strength. Collision here right in front of us. Everyone looking for the puck. CSUN hiding it behind their skate. As now Colorado's on the move. Tried to center it, deflected away by Hernandez. And now he's headed the other way with it with a quick pass. Shot is saved. Beautiful shot. Hit the goalie right in the chest. As Anderson trying to give his defense some time. And now he's gonna push towards the middle. Shot is saved. 
And now both teams racing for it. Colorado looking to get a shot off. And that one saved. Norak back in for the faceoff. As Colorado controls. Warwick and Norak team up to take it away as they head down towards the other end of the ice. Gontu's trying to play some defense. As now Norak is on the run again. He's got a one-on-one, -on -one, but Colorado playing some beautiful defense of their own. Warwick trying to get a stick in there. Colorado's looking, couple passes, looking to set something up. Shot goes just left of the goal. As a Buffalo falls down, Colorado shoots it, deflects off a skate. We got 5.01 left here in this first period. If you're just tuning in, the Matadors got both of their goals coming off of a power play. Kyle Warwick and Gino Norak were the ones who scored the goals for the Matadors. The Buffaloes win the faceoff. Shot goes just right of the goal. And now CSUN looking to push again. This time the Buffalo is able to play some defense. As they're headed the other way with it, get past Dusterhoff. Hernandez making some moves. And the refs blow the whistle. Colorado controls after the faceoff. They pass it around the rink. Anderson controls for the moment. Puck glides over the near side. 
as there's a big collision in front of us, caught off camera. And the shot is right into the chest of the goalie and saved. And a player for the Buffaloes is going into the penalty box. The third time this game. 3.22 left here in this first period. And we have another power play for the Matadors coming up. This time five on four. Their first two goals came off of power play. Dusterhoff shoots, goes high. Norak still controls. Pass back to Norak. Anderson shoots. Deflected off a, a stick. And the Buffalo's just gonna get rid of it momentarily, try to take some time off that clock. There's now Warwick pushing down the ice, along with Gontus. There's Franklin with it, with the pass to Gontus. Dusterhoff shoots, didn't go anywhere. Franklin trying to play some defense, and now Colorado's going down the other end. And Norak playing some good defense. Trying to push it down the ice, he slips and falls. Warwick! That shot deflected up into the ceiling. What a fast paced first minute of that power play. We still have 54 seconds left. 2.16 left in this first period. And another Buffalo is going into the penalty box. So we're gonna have 54 seconds of a five on three. This is how the Matador scored their first goal. And they did it relatively quickly. Who's to say they can't do it again? This time Colorado just trying to play keep away. They're pushing towards the other end. Shot goes high. Now it's Hayden Day with the puck. Thirty seconds left in the five on three. Here's Franklin with it. Pass back to Hernandez. Pass to Day. He's right there. Can't get it in. Franklin gonna pass back. There's Hasek. Misses the shot, got away from him. There's Franklin again, taking his time. It's back to a five on four now. Matadors have one minute left in this power play. And the Buffalo is able to get rid of it. As the player is down for the Matadors, Christopher Franklin took a shot from the back. No whistle. Here's Warwick with it. Matadors have an empty net right now. Trying to take advantage of the power play. There's 15 seconds left. Ethan Murphy back in at goalie. And we have another Buffalo in the penalty box. This power play is gonna continue on. It's gonna be five on three for the next 15 seconds. And then five on four after that. Norak in for the face off. Warwick passes back to Dusterhoff, he shoots. Goalie can't control, Norak trying to close in. Can't do it, passes back to Anderson. Anderson shoots, deflects to the left. Norak controls, pass back to Anderson. 
Pass to Dusterhoff, and that shot is saved. We're back to a five on four now, and it will be like that for the next minute 38. Norak passes to Anderson. Can't get the shot in. And that's going to be the end of the first period. The Matadors currently hold the 2-0 lead. They will be in a power play to resume the second period. We'll be back in roughly 10 minutes for the start of that.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're about ready to get started with the second period. The Matadors currently hold a 2-0 lead. They're going to be in a power play for the first minute 29. Looking to expand upon that lead. Both players at center ice. The puck is dropped and we are good to go. Anderson shoots it down the other end. Trying to get his team in position for the power play as they have the numbers advantage. They're being slow and methodical with it. Dusterhoff with the pass. And Warwick gets it in. Just like that. It's three to nothing. It took 19 seconds. That's all they needed. Coming out of the goal, both teams now at full strength. Just 30 seconds have gone by and we've already seen a goal. Norak shoots it down the other end. The Buffaloes are able to control as a quick substitution was made for the Matadors. Now the Buffaloes are making their way down the ice. Looking to center it, can't do anything with it. And Gontus gets rid of it. Colorado making their way back down the ice. Hernandez playing some defense. Gives it to Warwick. He's got a defender on him. Doesn't matter. Goes around the goal. And Colorado able to take it away. Puck rolls over to the goalie, covers it up, and we're going to have a face-off. Matador's got a shot off immediately after the faceoff. Saved again. And we're going to do it all over again. Matador's able to control. At least they did for the moment. And now the Buffaloes are pushing. Moves quickly, shot is saved. Now Colorado looking to make another push. Pass to the left, shot, saved off the face mask. Puck rolls down the other end. 
That's going to be an icing call. Murphy with the save for the moment, and Colorado gets it in. The Buffaloes are looking to mount a comeback as Murphy had the initial save, but it deflected right to a Colorado Buffalo, and he was able to put it in. Buffalo's now looking to ride their wave of momentum. And they're pushing down the ice again. Norak ends up with it. Tries to give it to Gontus, he can't control. And that pass was intercepted. Now the Buffalo's looking to push. Norak in there fighting for it. Couple players slipped and fell. The Buffalo's couldn't get a shot off. So there's another collision. That got the Colorado bench all hyped up. Hayden Day looking to control. Both teams right in front of us. And Colorado ends up with it. Shot deflects off the net of the goal. Norak gets slammed into. As now Gontus looking to push. He slips and falls. And that shot was saved. And we're gonna have a face off on the far side. What an exciting first five minutes of this second period. We've had one goal for each side. The Matador still maintaining that two goal lead. Now the Buffaloes are on the move. Quick pass back, shot is saved. Murphy able to cover it up, the net moved, doesn't matter. He was not gonna let that one get by him. Warwick in for the face off right in front of us. Anderson deflects it off the glass. Buffaloes get a shot off, saved again by Murphy. Dusterhoff lost his stick, and he's down on the ice. He apparently got hit in the head. 
However, no call from the official. Guess they didn't see it. And we're going to resume play. Gontus didn't see where the puck went. Colorado shoots it high up into the ceiling. And we're going to have another faceoff. Matadors control after the faceoff on the far end of the ice. Just gets past him. And now the Buffaloes are looking to push. Trying to cut into that lead. Hernandez trying to play some defense, and he does. Gets the puck away from him. Passes it to Gontus. Looks like he didn't see it coming towards him. The puck got by Schwartz. There's Franklin with it. Pass to Hernandez. Pass back to Franklin. Back to Hernandez. Pass back to Gontus. Another pass to Norak. They're making their way up the ice as Norak slides and falls. Muradyan falls down. And now the Buffalo's looking to push. Shot. On goal is saved again by Murphy. He's had a busy second period here. Evan Lerman in for the faceoff. And the Buffalo's control as that shot was saved by Murphy. There's Goldstein with it. Can't find a teammate. Now the Buffaloes are on the move. Shot goes in. It slowly rolled in for the Buffaloes. And just like that, it's a 3-2 game. Murphy looked like he had the save initially. Lost his footing and it slowly rolled in. Now the Buffaloes are on the move again. That shot is saved. Once again, a busy second period here for Murphy. Warwick in for the faceoff. Franklin passes it down the other end. Puck comes back to Franklin. He's got two Buffaloes on him. Gives it up to Warwick and Hernandez. Buffaloes are playing much more aggressive here in this second period. Hayden Day looking to pass it, can't find anyone. As Hernandez is all the way back. Massive collision here in front of us. Franklin was in there. Passing it down the ice. Here's Hernandez again with it. Pass to Norak.
Pa quick pass to Gontus, finds his way back to Norak. Anderson back in the game after a substitution. Here's Anderson with it. Just passes it up the ice. Quick substitution for the Matadors. Muradyan back in the game. Buffalo's looking to center it. Intercepted by Norak. Gontus making his way up the ice. He's met by two defenders. Norak substitutes out. In comes Lerman trying to make a play. Buffaloes with a pass to the near side. Whistle blows. Nine forty nine left here in this second period as the Buffaloes have been able to cut the lead down to one. Jake Dusterhoff is going into the penalty box. It's going to be a power play for the Buffaloes. Their first one of the night for two minutes. And Norak's able to play keep away with the power play. He's got a wild one with the goalie, and he gets it in. The power play didn't matter, as the Matadors are the one to score. Norak shoots it down the other end of the ice. Lerman substitutes in for him. And now the Buffaloes trying to make up for the goal that they gave up during the power play. Just when it looked like they had the ability to tie this game, they let it get away from them. One minute left in the power play. Buffalo's yet to get a shot on goal. That pass gets away from him. Anderson with some defense. Trying to get some time off the clock. Substitutions for the Matadors. Thirty seconds to go on the power play. Buffaloes have yet to get a shot on goal for the power play. That one sails high. Matadors are back at full strength. And instead of giving up a goal during the power play, they end up scoring one.
Both teams fighting for the puck. Matador is able to come out with it. As that's Nick Hasek with it. But the Buffalo is able to get it back quickly. Puck hit the side of the net. Buffaloes get a shot, sails left. Another shot saved. Deflected up and into the protective netting. And we're gonna have a face off here on the near side. Evan Lerman in for the faceoff. Both teams fighting for the puck. Buffaloes come out with it. Slap shot goes sails up into the protective netting yet again. Kyle Warwick now in for the faceoff, replacing Lerman. Hasek falls down. Anderson able to control, tried to pass it to Day, couldn't find him. Warwick plays some good defense, gets the puck back. There's Hasek again. Pass back to Day. Pass to Anderson. Couldn't control it initially. He's got a defender on him, giving him a hard time. Gives it up to Dusterhoff. And the puck deflects in very slowly. It wasn't even clean off the stick, but the Buffalo is able to get it in. The Matador still maintain the lead as it is now 4-3. 5.06 left in this second period. Now the Buffaloes looking to tie it up. Able to center the puck. Shot sails left. Colorado with the pass. Puck hits the rail of the goal. Both teams fighting for it. Colorado comes out with it.
And that shot is saved by Murphy. Covers it up and we're gonna have a face off. Matador, Matador's control momentarily after the faceoff. Colorado gets a shot off. And the Buffaloes control yet again. They're making their way down the ice. Norak with the pass to Gontus. Puck ends up in the hands of Anderson. Quick pass to Norak as he slammed into the wall. Dusterhoff getting into it, fighting for control of the puck. Anderson's there to join him. Colorado controls again. Pucks up in the air. Gontus is right there. Gets rid of it for the moment. Norak loses his stick momentarily. Able to get it. He's going to pass it up the ice. And that's going to be icing. Two fifteen left here in this second period in what has been a high scoring period nonetheless. The puck is dropped, we're back underway. Dusterhoff met with the defender. There's Hasek with a pass to Norak, making his way up the ice. He's gonna substitute out. Colorado with a behind the back pass. As now Warwick trying to play some offense. Puck finds its way to Day, but Colorado able to come out with it. Looking to make a move. And the Matadors with some good defense momentarily. Murphy resets back in the goal. Warwick shoves a man. The puck is stuck behind a skate. It comes out. Martinez with the pass today. Tensana trying to play some defense. He does so beautifully. Tensana fell down and ended up stopping the puck momentarily. And Murphy's fighting for the puck, covers it up. Under a minute to go here. In this second period, Lerman in for the faceoff. Matador shoot it down the other end. That's going to be another icing call.
Lerman again in for the faceoff. And Colorado controls. Looking to tie this game in the dying seconds of this second period. That shot is saved by Murphy. Deflects up into the air. Down towards the other end of the ice. Under 10 seconds. That puck's gonna get away from both teams. And that's gonna do it for the second period. The Buffaloes close the gap on their deficit as they now only trail by one. We'll be back in roughly 10 minutes for the start of the third period.
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are back for the start of the third period here in what has been a very exciting game. The Matadors were able to take an early 2-0 lead after the first period. But the Colorado Buffalo is able to fight back, cut that lead in half in what was a high-scoring second period, which leads us to a 4-3 start of the third period. Thank you for tuning in with us tonight as we are in for an exciting finish. Gino Norak for the Matadors in for the faceoff as they control, looking to close this game out. Both teams fighting for the puck right there as it was stuck up against the wall. And here come the Buffaloes. They're looking to push down the other end. Norak able to get it away. There's Gontus fighting for it. Puck is up in the air. Both teams fighting for control. There's Anderson with some defense. Here's Hayden Day trying to play some offense. Not giving the Buffaloes any time. Puck rolls around the ring. Hernandez passes it forward. Here's Hackett for the Buffaloes with the pass forward. Franklin going to let it roll to the end of the rink. Franklin with the pass to Hernandez with the pass to Hasek. Hackett trying to play some defense. Toronto passes it up the ice for the Buffaloes. He's in control now. Passes it back. There's Hackett. And Hernandez with some good defense. Day looking to pass it forward to no avail. Substitutions are going to be made. The puck rolls too far up the ice. That's going to be an icing. Pardon me, the refs are discussing it right now. We're going to have a face off at center ice. Lerman in for the Matadors. Tedsana comes out of that, shoots the puck up against the wall towards the other end. And that's going to be an icing call. And we're going to have a face off on the far end. Colorado controls after the face off. Looking to tie this game up. They have not held the lead in this game. Matador is looking to get a shot off to no avail. Maradion's in there fighting for it. Two players fall down. And now the Buffalo's making their way up the ice.
Whistle blows as Murphy got pushed too far back into the goal. Official's gonna reset the net. Sixteen thirty four left here in this third period. Matadors clinging to a one score lead. And here comes Norak on the offensive end. Pass to the right, tries to pass it back towards the center. Played beautifully by the Buffaloes. They control and they're now making their way up the ice as it's gonna go around the rink. Anderson's right there, trying to play some defense. Buffaloes with a couple passes. It's gonna roll around behind the net. Norak playing some defense. Anderson in there as well. They're gonna pass it outside. Lose control of the passing, and Gontus comes up with it. Passes it to the right side, can't find a teammate. Anderson slips and falls. Dusterhoff slaps it away. Anderson not like not gonna let the puck even reach the goalie. As he shoots it down the other end. That'll be icing. Just over five minutes gone by in this third period. Warwick in for the faceoff as Anderson controls. Slaps it down the other end. And that's going to be icing yet again. Kyle Warwick in for the faceoff. And the Matadors control coming out of it. At least they did for the moment, they lost it. Hayden Day looking to play some defense. There's Dusterhoff with the puck as he slips and falls. Goes down the other end and that's gonna be another icing call. Officials appear to be discussing something. As both teams are meeting up in, the in their respective huddles. Probably going over some game planning. The crowd is alive and well here in Simi Valley as the Kesha songs pour on. Evan Lerman in for the faceoff. Buffalo's control, get a shot off quickly. 
That one saved by Murphy. Matadors get it up the ice as they're playing a bit more defensive here in this third period. Muradyan with the pass to Lerman. He gets the puck back, but the pass was far ahead of him. He's still able to control. Anderson, shot just misses. Goldstein's in there fighting for the puck. Norak back in the game. Puck sails in the air and brought down by a Buffalo. Norak shot off the pole. He finds the puck again. Weaving around the official. Anderson stops the puck with his hand. Shoots it down the other end. Trying to give his team some time for sub more substitutions. Norak in with some defense. Trying to get the momentum rolling again for the Matadors. As that shot is just left. Anderson slaps it up the ice. That's going to be another icing call against the Matadors. Norak in for the faceoff as Colorado controls looking to tie this game. Dusterhoff going at it. He was in the penalty box once already tonight. Gontu sends up with the puck. Passes back to Dusterhoff who finds Norak near center ice. And here's Gontu's pushing. Shot sails right, deflected, off the pole and in! But the referee waves off the goal. The puck went in the net. Referees are having a conversation. And they correct the call. And it is now 5-3 for the Matadors. With 11.53 left here in the third period, the Matadors get back their two-score lead. We're back underway. As the Buffaloes again face a two-score deficit, you have to wonder what the thought process was on that last goal. 
because the first official originally waved it off, said no goal. As that shot is picked up by Murphy into the glove, and we're going to have a face off on the far end. Here's Maradion pushing, but he's got three defenders around him. There's Hackett with the pass up the ice. And that's going to be an icing call against the Buffaloes. 10.45 left here in this third period. Puck sails over the glass. And we're going to have another faceoff. Shot by Dusterhoff right into the glove. And the save by Lawrence, and we're gonna have another faceoff. Here's Anderson with the shot. Saved for the moment. Norak with another shot. Puck is still live in front of the goal. And the Buffalo is able to get rid of it as they're moving up the ice fast. That shot goes far left. More substitutions for the Matadors. Tedzano moving with the puck as Warwick is getting into it with Knapp right in front of the goal. Puck rolls down the other end. That's going to be an icing call against the Matadors. Buffalo's looking to get something going offensively here as they have yet to do so in this third period. Time has now become a factor. 
as there's 8.30 left in the third period. They got close to a goal right there. Buffalo's pushing. That shot sails high. Whistle blows as two players are on top of each other. Good show of sportsmanship. Franklin was in the mix. Both teams going at it behind the net. Dusterhoff with some aggressive defense, some pushing, some shoving. And Buffalo still maintain control of the puck as it goes around the net. Norak was looking to push it up the ice. Whistle blows, we have, we're gonna have a face off. Norak substituted it out for Warwick. As the puck's right in front of the net, Buffaloes can't put it in. That shot is just to the right. And the Matadors get rid of it for the moment. You have to figure they're gonna be playing a bit more defensive with almost six and a half minutes to go in this third period and a two score lead. And just like that, the Matadors are on the breakaway. Shot deflected off the skate. There's Schwartz playing some defense. Lerman making his way up the ice. Shot is saved by Lawrence. Schwartz can't get it in. Some pushing and shoving, he slipped and fell. Buffalo's making their way up the ice to no avail. More pushing and shoving going on. As now Norak has a one-on-one -on -one with the goalie for the moment. And that's saved by Lawrence off the shoulder. Dusterhoff was shoved down on the far side. Gets back up.
A Buffalo slipped and fell. Puck's in front of the net. Anderson just pushes it down the ice. That's going to be an icing call. Four fifteen here, left in the third period. Puck rolls down the ice. Gontu's playing aggressive. Murphy covers it up. And we're going to reset with another faceoff. Shot for the Buffalo sales high. <laughs> Buffalo still in control. Looking to get something moving quick. As that shot is saved. Now Warwick by himself looking to push. He slipped and fell after he was pushed into. He's back up and in the mix. Under three minutes left in the game. Like I said, the Matadors playing more defensively here as the clock is on their side and the scoreboard is on their side as well as they could give up a goal and still have the lead. Buffalo's trying to make it interesting here in the final two minutes as they're going to go empty net. Trying for a desperation comeback. Minute and a half left to go. Norak in there playing some defense. Puck rolls around the rink. Buffalo slips and falls. Less than a minute to go. Matadors are just trying to play keep away. And they do so beautifully. The puck is rolling down the ice. It wouldn't have went in anyway. It was sailing left. Gontu shoots it down the other end to kill a couple more seconds. Two players slip and fall. Puck goes into the protective netting above the glass. So we're going to reset with the faceoff. We 
We got a timeout on the ice. Both teams are in their huddles. Matadors come out of their huddle, seemingly optimistic that they're going to wrap this one up. Play resumes, Matadors play keep away, pucks down the ice, and the final seconds are gonna tick off, and that's gonna do it. The CSUN Matadors defeat the Colorado Buffaloes with a score of five to three. Both teams are going to show signs of sportsmanship, congratulating each other on a well-fought game. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for spending part of your Thursday night with us. An exciting game all around. We will see you tomorrow night for a back-to-back -back as the Matadors will be going against LMU. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you tomorrow night.